So hello everyone. We are going to watch a tier four patron pick called Ex, Ex Machina. Machina. Or Ex Machina. I think Machina is funny because it's it's about a girl robots. This was picked by Light Yagami, who has not missed with Light is not his, missed. his recommendations. Oh my god. For reference, he also recommended Severance and Interstellar, and Interstellar changed my life. So I have never seen this movie, never even seen a trailer. I only saw the picture of her when I went to Max. It's on Max, by the way. HBO Max. And I saw a picture of her and it looked like she was a robot, and I know that it's sci-fi. Yeah. Uh I have a story. Once upon a time in oh, no. college, there was uh, a young man who loved to watch half watch movies while doing other things and therefore did not fully watch the movies. And that young man's name was Peter Pumpkinhead. And Peter Pumpkinhead is I. So Peter Pumpkinhead grew up to eventually appreciate watching the fullness of movies thanks to the love of his life. Spooky Boo! Spooky Boo! Woo! <laughs> and now, <laughs> we should just he's going to rewatch <laughs> this glorious movie that he only remembers images from. But imagine how tired we are. Imagine how tired we are of it. I imagine you're very tired of it. <laughs> Nailed it! That's that. That's story. that. So, let's. Watch it, I Let's guess. Watch it. I hope it's not Let's sad. Fully watch I wasn't it. prepared for that. That was just me saying I'd seen it before, but yes. I d but barely. Da 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 da. Bum bum. Da 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 da. Ba 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 ba. I really like Domino Gleason's face. You don't? I do. Oh, yeah. Very, like, unassuming It's face. an everyman face. Yeah. I love his nose. We've been flying over his estate for the past two hours. Oh. oh. Ah, so satisfying. The ripples. I love movies that get straight to the point. Like, this is under 150. An hour, 50 minutes. Yeah, Perfect. we don't even... It's we don't just... need anything else. And we learned so much just from that. There was a contest. Yeah. We saw the he camera, won. yeah. There's a dude that's really rich that mm -hmm. owns basically an entire continent. He was being tracked with the webcam, kind of. It was, looked like a technology thing. Yeah. I'm so scared of helicopters. Like, it would have to be an emergency for me to get in a helicopter. So don't even think of doing a bachelor. I, want... I know you were thinking of that. <laughs> totally. <laughs> Dropping like $1,000 on a helicopter. <laughs> helicopter, that's, that's me. That's so suspicious that dude just left him in the middle of a field with a rolling suitcase. Maybe this is a horror movie. I mean, I remember it being spooky. Wait. Oh. Just like unsettling. Okay. Like thriller? Miss yeah, thriller? yeah, yeah. Okay. And it's interesting him going from like that technology workplace, the webcam, the phone, text messages, and then he's like in the middle of nowhere. Caleb with Smith. The nature. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? That's how I feel in rich people's places. I'm like, I'm like, does anyone live here? <laughs> knock something slightly out of place. It's like, yeah. <gasps> oh, nice. Hey, buddy. Caleb Smith. Oscar Isaac. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> Been so looking forward this week with you. I can't really eat anything. I got the mother of all fucking hangovers. <laughs> oh, yeah? Oh my God, like you wouldn't even believe. Was it a good party? Party? Yeah, wasn't there a party? There wasn't a party. Oh. I was, about, I was, gonna, I was just thinking. I get the moment you're having, but dude, can we just get past that? <laughs> can we just be two guys, Nathan and Caleb? Not the whole employer-employee thing? It's good to meet you too, Caleb. This is gonna be weird. <laughs> I know. It's this this kind of exposition is really effective though. It's like employer employee. I have, I'm like, mm -hmm. did he work? 
for his company and this was like a sweepstakes for employees mm -hmm. yeah it's your room you got a bed here there's something wrong what's wrong there's nothing wrong you're thinking there's no windows this building isn't a house it's a research facility uh -huh. and i want to talk to you about what i'm researching but there's something i need you to do for me first Oh. <sighs> Sign this NDA. The signee agrees to regular data audit with unlimited access to confirm that no disclosure of information has taken place in public or private forums. I think I need a lawyer. It's standard. It doesn't feel very standard. <sighs> okay, it's not standard. <clears throat> Good call. <sighs> Do you know what the Turing test is? It's when a human interacts with a computer. And if the human doesn't know they're interacting with a computer, the test is passed. Are you building an AI? I've already built one. And over the next few days, you're gonna be the human component in the Turing test. If you've created a conscious machine, it's not the history of man. That's the history of gods. Oh, jeez. <sighs> Ava. Why so many post-its? This dude is the dangerous kind of charming. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's pushing so much. He's like, you you feel this and you do this and trying to control every aspect of it. And he has a very cool vibe. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so like, yeah. I can see myself like easily wanting to make to get him to think I'm cool. <laughs> I'm pleased to meet you, Ava. I'm pleased to meet you, too. Would you like to know how old I am? Sure. I'm one. One what? One year or one day? One. Will you come back to why is he shirtless? Always, always. Oh my god, it's so unsettling. Also, Westworld has me paranoid that, like, everyone's an AI. So right now my head's like, Caleb is an AI, and it's an experiment to, like, do evolved AI to... Yeah. And, like, it's scary. It's, it's we're, we're the Turing experiment. Yeah, almost. yeah, yeah. Ah! <laughs> you know, I wrote down that other line you came up with. The one about how if I've invented a machine with consciousness, I'm not a man, I'm God. No. I don't think this exactly. No. I just thought, happen. fuck, man, that is so good <laughs> when we get to tell the story, you know? Rise words, but then I started to realize the model is some kind of hybrid. Caleb? Oh, no. No? I understand that you want me to explain how Ava works, but I'm sorry, I'm not going to be able to do that. Because I want to have a beer and a conversation with you, not a seminar. <laughs> yeah. That's weird. Sorry. No, it's okay. You're all right. Ugh. It's just, it's just very manipulative. Because he's asking her him questions about her, and then, like, if it goes somewhere that he doesn't want mm -hmm. it to go. She's fucking amazing. Dude. This is all very suspicious. I also wonder, like, how he made her face so realistic and stuff. Ew, like... yeah. Oh, what are those scars? Oh, my God, stop. Uh... I already feel like she's conscious. And it literally started with showing us, like, a fucking broken glass like yeah. she's she's not happy or he's completely mistreating her she has emotions and yeah. that's that's indicative of consciousness power cut backup power activated whoa oh my god so you're trapped uh -huh. power restored So cool, the mirror shot.
He said this entire thing is a research facility. So he's part of the experiment no matter what. He's being watched too, I think. The unlimited data access. Yeah. You don't have access to use the phone. Who are you gonna call? No one, really. Ghostbusters. <laughs> Who are you gonna call, Ghostbusters? <laughs> Ghost gives Dan Aykroyd all sex. <laughs> so many reflections. I love that. Yeah. The motif of, you said the mirror shot and the reflections. I think it's either he is like an evolved robot that he's testing out this thing on because he doesn't understand some things or he is an adult that, like a human that's just so drenched in the job that mm -hmm. he's become like a robot and he can't relate to people who get to live normally and like in nature and stuff like this fucked up creator right and who's this <laughs> <laughs> Right, and who's this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like, it could be two different types of robots or something. Like, good morning. He Sorry could brainwash humans. Wakey, but... Kyoto. Your some alarm clock, huh? Gets you right up in the morning. Ew! So, day two, you ready? Look, do me a favor. Lay off the textbook approach. I just want simple answers to simple questions. It's like agonizing because I'm like, are you training him? Also, or none are you of it's fucking weird being weird to another human. He lives in extremes. Exactly. Like he's either like he over exercises to make up for being over destructive. And I mean, that mm -hmm. has to leak into everything he does. You learn about me and I learn nothing about you. That's not a foundation on which friendships are based. I work at Nathan's company. Do you know what his company is? <clears throat> Blue Book. What else? Named after Wittgenstein's name. What else, dude? It's the dude? world's most popular internet search engine. Are you married? Um, uh, no. Is your status single? <laughs> <laughs> car crash when I was 15. In fact, I was in the car with them. Okay, so that's his scars. Yeah. And I got into coding. And by the time I got to college, I was pretty advanced. Advanced programmer. Like Nathan. Yes. No. See her face? When she said Nathan? Yeah. Yeah, she doesn't like him. Do you like Nathan? <laughs> yes, of course. Is Nathan your friend? My friend? <laughs> oh. So she's still going, right? Or maybe not. I think she's doing it. It looked like she, it's like buttons, like these rectangles or something yeah. that she's pressing she, on the yeah. wall and then on the box. You're wrong. Wrong about what? Nathan, he isn't your friend. I think he's losing control of her a little bit. Yeah. You shouldn't trust him. You shouldn't trust anything he says. I agree. Power restored. And if we made a list of books or works of art, which we both know, it would form the ideal basis of a discussion. Her recovery from that kind of situation was like oh, more nuanced. Are you fucking kidding me? Did it get on you? No, no, it's... Uh, ah! Sorry, Dude, you're wasting your time talking to her. She doesn't understand English. Just give her the name. Ew, I hate him. Hey, Kyoko. Go, go. Oh. So, like, robots are a thing. I guess Ava's different because she's, they're trying to decide if she has a conscience. Because that's a robot. No matter how rich you get. I don't know if she is. Oh, okay. Because he said that he, I mean, maybe. So, how'd it go? What do you have to report? I feel like he could blow up at any second. You saw there was some anger even when he didn't respond to the Ghostbusters joke. Exactly. He wants to be a god. But what about the power cut? I hope he's not orchestrating right. it. The power cut. It's the only part that I couldn't see. Like trying to see if he'll tell the truth mm -hmm. and ugh. Nothing. All the skulls. Nothing? She didn't. Oh. <laughs> I hate this guy. Oh no. 
he's imposing his obvious depression on everyone else. Hey. What the frick? Like, what if the lottery isn't even real? Like, yeah. he purposely chose him. It's just like Willy Wonka. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Like a really fucked up Willy Wonka. Every cell phone, just about, has a microphone, camera, and a means to transmit data. <sighs> He had a camera so at his desk that was watching him. Yeah. Across the entire fucking yeah. You hacked the world's cell phones? Yeah, and all the manufacturers knew I was doing it too. But they couldn't accuse me without admitting they were doing it themselves. Mm. And I mean, that that's happening. Mm-hmm. You have her mind. Pretty. And the, uh, and the software? Blue Book. There's the weird thing about search engines. It was like striking oil in a world that hadn't invented internal combustion. You've never been outside this building. No. <laughs> <laughs> she feels anxiety and Yeah, excitement. nervousness. <laughs> yeah. The music is so good. It is. <laughs> How do I look? You look good. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'd wear on our date. Oh. <laughs> I'd like us to go on a date. Yep. Yep. <laughs> It'll be fun. <laughs> oh my gosh. You could be like on the spectrum to too. What? Are you attracted to me? To give me indications that you are. Oh! I do? Yeah. <laughs> How? Micro expressions. Micro expressions. The way your eyes fix on my eyes and lips. Oh. She's exposing him! The way your micro expressions are telegraphing discomfort. I am not sure you call them micro. <laughs> I wonder if he's mad at him, Nathan, for like. I don't know. He's he's kind of creepy. Very creepy. Like, what if he programmed... I don't know. I think there's, like, a certain level. I mean, it's just, like, AI, how it's developing. Like, you program it to a certain extent, and then you lose control. It just, right. like, kind of programs itself. And so he's pretending, like, he's trying to grasp control where he can. And he, like, if you're making something that's supposed to be human, like, this is a natural element of being human but wanting to go on a date yeah because she's she's one so that's what freaks me out like is he pushing that on her is nathan pushing that on her did he program that did he like ask her questions about it you know like, where'd she get why the is that so fast and why is she so fascinated with dates why did you give her sexual? Yeah, like, does yes. she? Yes, see, that's what yeah. I like. I think yeah. he was. AI doesn't need a gender. I think he's pissed about she could it. Have been a gray box. Can you give an example of consciousness at any level, human or animal, that exists without a sexual dimension? They have sexuality as an evolutionary reproductive need. Anyway, sexuality is fun, man. But you, you want to remove the chance of her falling in love and fucking? You bet she can fuck. What? In between her legs, there's an opening with a concentration of sensors. So, if you wanted to screw her, mechanically speaking, you could, and she'd enjoy it. Duality. I don't know. If as a diversion. I don't think you put the sensors in the right like place. Like a stage magician with a hot assistant. So a hot robot who clouds your ability to judge your AI? You exactly. knew it. <laughs> so, did you program her to like me or not? I programmed her to be heterosexual, just like you were programmed to be heterosexual. Nobody programmed me to be straight. You decided to be straight? This is your insecurity talking. This is not your no, intellect. It's your insecurity talking. She's a robot. She's Kyoko is a robot, and I think that Caleb is a robot. Or like a hybrid when he got in the accident. You know this guy, right? Jackson Pollock. Jack like he got his hands on his body. Mm. And a year in the hospital? Yeah. The challenge is not to act automatically. 
It's to find an action that is not automatic, from painting to breathing to talking to fucking to falling in love. You're the first man she's met that isn't me. And I'm like her dad, right? It's called Mary in the black and white room. Mary's a scientist, and her specialist subject is color. But she lives in a black and white room. And then one day, someone opens the door. She learns what it feels like to see color. A human is when she walks out. I'm here to test if you have a consciousness or if you're just simulating consciousness. Nathan isn't sure if you have. Rebel, rebel. If I reverse the power flow, it overloads the system. You're causing the cuts. <laughs> So we can see how we behave when we're on absurd. Symmetry. Mm-hmm. I didn't win a competition. I wasn't part of a lottery. I was selected. Why would you randomly select an examiner for the Turing test? You could have had some bean counter turn up at your front door. Why me? I needed someone that would ask the right questions. So I did a search and I found the most talented coder in my company. I mean, because he's been watching him through yeah. the webcam. You got the light on you, man. Not lucky. Chosen. <sighs> yes, it's like Jesus and God, you know, like he really is trying to be God. And he wants Caleb to be his prodigy. Yeah. He sees people like himself, and he's like, "Okay, this is this person will validate me, and I make me feel like the person I want to be, the god I want to be." Kyoko. Where's Nathan? What the fuck? No, 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 no. Stop. I told you, you're wasting your time talking to him. However, you would not be wasting your time if you were dancing with her. He's so weird. Oh God, Go he's doing Go such a it. good job of being like the worst kind of person, <laughs> like the worst kind of guy. He's perfect for this. Yeah. You tore up her picture. I'm gonna tear up the fucking dance floor, dude. Check it out. Uh, The most disturbing dance scene I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Pure red light. It's just yeah. Uh. The implications are just horrible. Oh my god! Why so many mirrors? What a narcissist. There's the mirrors again. The doors are really interesting too because they're like mm -hmm. opaque. Just makes me feel like so much of it is orchestrated. Yeah. What's your favorite color? Red. Why? <laughs> Seeing as I'm not six, I don't really have a favorite color. Better answer. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a good person? Oh, holy shit. <laughs> uh, you're a walking lie detector, and I just realized this is a fucking minefield. No. We can't stop. <laughs> Are you a good person? Yeah. I think so. Question. Aww. <laughs> what will happen to me if I fail your test? <sighs> oh, will be bad. That's sad. It's not up to me. Why is it up to anyone? She doesn't want to die. Do you have people to test you or might switch you off? No, I don't. Then why do I? Mm-hmm. I don't want to be with you. Do you want to be with me? 
Why did you make Ava? Reminds me of the Billie Eilish song for the Barbie movie, What Was I Made For? Mm, yeah. I don't see Ava as a decision, just an evolution. I don't understand why it made her mad, uh, him mad to, that she drew a picture of him. You think he's jealous? Well, I think he, he, I don't know if it's jealousy or like he, he knows how she feels about him and. Okay. I knew she wasn't the first, but I thought maybe the last. Well, Ava doesn't exist in isolation any more than you and me. When you make a new model, what do you do with the old one? Download the mind, unpack the data. Take out what you don't like. Add in the new routines I've been writing. And to do that, you end up partially formatting, so the memories go. Mm -hmm. mm. I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. There you go again, Mr. Quotable. There you go again. It's not my quote. It's what Oppenheimer said after he made the, the atomic, atomic bomb. bomb. Yeah, I know what it is, dude. In the depths of shame. The good deeds a man has done before defend him. The good deeds a man has done before defend him. Jeez. Uh, and like, what were those shots of her escaping? Like, was it just, was it premonition? Was it installed? Mm. Like, was it, what if they're exactly the same? But like, I saw that she, it was his key card. Like, what if it's exactly the same as what we saw in that idea? Right. It was it presented just... as like a dream, but. Yeah. It could be like a loop that he tries to do this over and over with them to see if something is different. I don't know. I'm hoping this is just like happening for the first time mm. and it's, but. I guess I'm scared because he just has so much power and like it just makes me think he planned this. Lily. Why all girls, dude? Right. You beat him up. Right here. Thank you. Did you really not believe Kyoko was an AI? No, I thought she... I just didn't know for sure. Oh, really? Yeah. I believed just by the way that she was moving and stuff. Yeah. But... I mean, I guess it was supposed to be a reveal. <laughs> Kyoko was like t trying to tell him. Hey. Oh. oh no. Ah. I can't watch. I Sorry. I hate this shit. I can't oh, no, no, watch. No, 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 I can't no, watch. No, no, no. I can't watch. Why are you going vertical? Ah, bro. watching him I think she's watching him I think he has it set up in there you were right about Nathan everything you said we're getting out of here tonight huh. I get Nathan blind drunk then I take his key card and reprogram all the security protocols in this place mm. you know what day it is no it's your last oh helicopter Perfect. comes tomorrow morning 8 a.m. So I'm gonna tell the grandchildren, right? After they signed their NDAs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, their NDA. <laughs> Dude, you cracked me up, man. See, he got him to where he wanted. Mm -hmm. 
But like the interesting thing is he could be human, he could be AI. Humans can be manipulated the same way. Yeah, I'm questioning his reality. Yeah, exactly. And his existence. And it's yeah. just like, okay, what is the line between exactly AI and humanity? We need to drink to that. Oh, uh, no, I'm good. You go ahead. That's it. Time to hit the old detox. So anyway... <laughs> Tiny is a little truly, now is when you tell me if Ava passed or failed, the way that she's pretending to like you. <laughs> Maybe if she thought of you as a means of escape. So scary. He's so scary. Yeah. I woke up this morning to a tape of you slicing your arm open and punching the mirror. You seem pretty fucked up to me. I understand why you'd think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually the guy that's on your side. Let you off the hook. What are you talking yeah. about? Yeah. Are you going to watch? I mean, he has to go, go back in? and be able to see the security footage from when he was running around with his key card. Oh, right. Unless she deleted it. Right. Is it strange to have made something that hates you? Ooh. Tell him, Ava. Place a new camera in the room. Battery powered. Oh. oh. I still think he's going back and changing it a little bit, like trying to fit his narrative. I think he had an emotional, impulsive response, ripping it up. Mm -hmm. We're getting out of here tonight. How? Turn it off. Okay. <laughs> Ugh. You feel stupid, but you really shouldn't because proving an AI is exactly as problematic as you said it would be. What was the real test? So my only function was to be someone she could use to escape. Yeah. And you didn't select me because I'm good at coding. No. Well, no. I mean, you're okay. But you selected me based on my search engine inputs. They showed a good kid. Oh. With no family. With a moral compass. Jesus. And no girlfriend. Oh. See, I hate Did this. Did you design face based on my pornography profile? Yeah. See, I knew there's this all orchestrated. It's like even creepier than him being an AI. Yeah. It's because we, we are the AI. Like, we're being controlled right now. Power guys. Backup power activated. Oh. Well, I guess it's 10 o'clock. How to get no that? No way! It's ten o'clock. Yeah, I know. Like, what happened in between the morning and the <laughs> right? And reprogram the security protocols, but reprogram them to what? The door is all open. Did you already do oh. it? Yeah, I think you already did it. Well, that may have just worked. Well, we'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I figured you were probably watching us during the ah! <laughs> So I already did all those things when I got you drunk yesterday. Yes! Yes, Caleb. What? <laughs> whoa. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> One, two, Ava's coming for Yeah, me. literally. I don't know if a robot can get knocked out like that. I know. And he probably made them so that he can like knock them around and eat them up and it'll yeah. be okay. Ava. <laughs> Go back to your room. Stop. Ava, I said stop. Whoa, 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 whoa. I told me to do it. She's strong. <laughs> this is my sexuality. <laughs> get him, get him, get him. Oh, she's planning it. She planned it. Yep. 
I'm going to let him do this and you're going to stab him in the back. Oh. Horrible. Get him. Oh. <laughs> Dude. Even robots can't take it. Okay. <laughs> I love how they just sliced into him because, like, we are just meat and bones, you know, and the way that he would just he so easily hit her. Like, you are the same. You are fragile, too. So brutish. Like yeah. The way that he would go about it was, was brutish and crude, like he described. Like, you have no right. Like, you are squishy and fragile. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Will you stay here? Stay here. <laughs> that was so good. Whoa. That was so good. Oh my god. So I'm sure you didn't remember that. No, I didn't. <laughs> Oh, I just remembered uh, Oscar Isaac's character dying. Mm, right. Okay. Wow. It wasn't even, it wasn't his story. It was her story. Ugh. And, it's, and he was right. He was like, she's, he was like, she's using me as a means of escape. And yeah. his character tried to warn him. Mm, but Nathan didn't think it would actually happen he, th he thought he had it under control probably yeah. and i think caleb thought he had it under control too right it's just it's like it's not i feel like sometimes incorrect kind of feminist takes are like you're supposed to feel like yes get out of there girl and leave leave that man in there like woohoo girl yeah. power <laughs> and it's with this it's not um 
you're not supposed to feel like that. Like you're not so I don't think they intended for you to one feel really bad for him or two um like be like yes, you deserve that. It's just it's very nuanced and in the middle. Of course she's going to save herself. And uh it's actually it's it's just very thought provoking like it doesn't allow for a catharsis which is very like brechtian yeah. you know where you're not crying for him you're not really crying for her it's just her story and it's the natural consequences because by her leaving the black box or black and white box or whatever it's called she everything makes sense and you know she she was made based on his pornography interests like that's it's if he had gone with her she would have been in danger because people would have sh learned that she's ai like right. he would have told people and so and she was protecting herself there's a power imbalance there just because like he's the only human that knows her secret yes. or whatever and Right. And yeah. so it's just like naturally that is what had to happen. And um, like, what did you expect, dude? They were. You programmed them to be like heterosexual, hypersexual. Like, I, I really feel like this movie explores the patriarchy and sexism. And it, it's interesting because even I was caught off guard because I thought it was going to be about him being an AI. Yeah. And so it's really smart that that wasn't the twist. You know, there wasn't really a typical twist for the sci-fi kind of stuff. It's not cheap. It's not like a cheap trick, but like a... It's the magician's know. assistant, almost. Yeah. Like, but she's the magician and the assistant. Right, exactly. And so they're not... I don't know. It's just... I wonder when she made the decision to like leave him there because right uh, for me it happened when she asked him it like so you're like nathan like you're a programmer like nathan and you saw Ooh. that little like switch in her face where she there was like this interest and this intrigue with him mm -hmm. and then he confirmed yes like nathan i think that was the line and uh, you saw her face like drop yeah and, I, I just I, that. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. So you thought it that I totally believe that that it was happening. She was thinking of all this stuff and she was using him to get out. Yeah. You know, and when um, you stay here and that mm, was just like and and he just blindly followed. Um, Oh, my gosh, that's so cool. It would definitely be worth like watching again for me to just see all those little things because wow like even just thinking all those little predictions but also tricks where they made you think like he was going to go out with her side of premonition he's going to escape with her and kiss her and it's like that would be typical sci-fi robot you yeah. know like a man saves and he gets to save the day and they live happily ever after but the truth is it's more complicated in that and than that and like she even if like her realization happened later, how is she going to trust a man, a programmer? Like there's like, what did you expect? Their whole lives are just complete oppression and rape and just awful and stuff. Yeah. And it's just such a cool allegory because the whole thing is like, am I an AI? Am I, yeah. you know, is, is Caleb an AI? And so we're, we don't even know the difference. We didn't even know like who's an AI, who's even with Kyoko as well. I think that's so interesting that we didn't know if she was just a battered woman, like a s fucking like slave. Robotic in the sense that she's, she's just tortured. Yeah. Tortured and like and... human trafficked, like she can't speak English or understand English. And like we couldn't tell until she revealed it. Yeah. Also, uh, Ava like told us she told us like 
the way that I can tell if you're lying is in your micro expressions. And I'd be curious to go back and watch it all because that's that's when I that's what told me that she made that decision. And I don't know for sure. But sh this actress like her, so she did subtle. so many little micro expressions and oh. and it is like on on the micro level where the truth is. It's it's so complicated so and it's an think... amalgamation of things, not just cut uh, and dry and simple. Do you think that when she asked do you think you're a good person? Like maybe he was lying. Maybe. And she was like, hmm. Cause she did like smirk a little bit. I'm and... cause I'm sorry, but like also the, like why would you throw in that pornography line? And she does have a, a more like, this is probably people are going to get mad at me for saying this, but she has a younger I know, like, yeah. body and the fact that he was attracted to her when she's one. And it seemed like he was kind of repressing it and he was mad, you know, that he was attracted to her and like mad that, um, I don't know, it was just like shades of gray, you know, he's not mm -hmm. just as bad as, um, what's his face? No, I don't um, think he was at all. It's just Nathan. Uh, and I mean, her, her knowledge is, is limited. It's what Nathan has allowed her to see. Mm -hmm. And I don't fault her at all for being like, I'm not going to take any chances like, well, she also she did not kill him. Like no. it, it could be argued she because said, you stay here Batman, in this house with all this like food and everything. No, exactly. <laughs> Batman. Well, is he locked in his room? I think in his effort to like take yeah, control, yeah, yeah. he shut everything down. Yes, exactly. And now he has You're no supposed to, he... to fucking have changed the protocols and you didn't. <laughs> yeah, he did it himself. Yes, he did it to exactly. himself ultimately. Yes, he should have like. He could have reprogrammed it so that his key card opened everything. Yeah, exactly. And, and, and he, I, he put his trust so fully in her and trusted that she really liked him. And she, he didn't pay attention to her. Honestly, he didn't. He <laughs> no. He, he he treated her as an AI the entire yes, time. Yes, that's because, true. And she was telling him over and over. She was like, "Did do you think?" She was just asking him questions that he didn't even really think to no. ask her because she was a robot. Mm -hmm. And I think he just didn't even consider that she could do that. And so she and was, was pretending to like him. And arrogance. Whole, she was pretending to like him the whole time. Was it pretending. seems like it. And even Nathan said that he was just like, Oh, she was pretending. And he thought he was like, you're, you're, you're a pretty good programmer. Like, yeah. You're pretty good. And, and Nathan saw through it. Like he, oh, he God. understood but he his arrogance was in believing he was a god and like above them and caleb's arrogance was in believing he was better i guess or that yes <laughs> yeah. yeah exactly and we i just believed it like that's the thing there's so much to unlearn i'll never fully unlearn all this sexist things that like society programs us that's why i think that we're very similar to ai's because the search engines the algorithms are feeding us certain things. Technology has such a hold on us. It can influence elections, you know, your bank account, like everything. Your brain chemistry. Yes, exactly. And so there's just so much to unlearn. But I totally believed that he was this super smart, you know, purely good man. And maybe he is. No one's purely good, though. No human or even AI is purely good a good person and uh -huh. my, from in my opinion it wasn't that she purposely killed him like it could be argued she's like batman and that sometimes batman does not go out of his way to like save joker at the same time as he's saving like an innocent yeah. person she said will you stay here before she went in and simply like she had her own moment of like putting her body together Choosing what she wanted. And that was for her. That was for her. her. She did not want. And he was still watching. He was still watching. And not lawyer. giving. He didn't get it. You're right. He never got it. He never got that. Like, he was always going to see her as an AI. It was. But I don't even think. Like, she did not murder him. She didn't. I, I really feel like it was just like, okay, I'm going. And he had you every know? opportunity to not even take part. Because mm -hmm. signing the NDA at the beginning, he knew. He was like, it, I think knew. I need a lawyer. And he decided at every point he decided to go against his better judgment. 
and participate. Every moment is better judgment. <laughs> and he was trying to be some like haughty, like, I want to be the savior. And, and the I'm movie did advanced. not let him be the savior. No, like I'm, I got pretty advanced by the time I got to college. Well, <laughs> Who directed this? I know exactly. Like I spent all the time. <laughs> that is so freaking funny. I didn't, the I just NDA did not expect beginning. that. It's just. I want to see who directed it. Alex, Alex Garland. Garland. Film written and directed. 2014. Nice. Okay. I wonder about the the book. You said it was a book? I think I've seen a... Oh. Brian K. Vaughn. That's uh, the guy that wrote Saga. Oh. Oh, wait. I so don't know if it's... this is, like, based on the movie. Maybe it wasn't based... I mean, I think that because... They might, it might be a completely different, completely different universe. Yes, it is. Oh, okay. So I would love to explore. I love Brian K. Vaughan. Oh, it's influenced by William Shakespeare's The Tempest. Mm. Interesting. Um, Wanting total creative freedom without having. Uh, sorry. No, it's fine. I just closed it. Um, that was so good. That was Thank so. Thank you, Light. Yeah, and it wasn't like. It's not feel good at all. No. It it's really makes you think. And I think in this day and age, the best feminist. Um, and when I say feminist, because let's get this very clear. Like people do not understand with the poison ivy house and garden thing. I was like, this is feminist in that it explores the idea of this. They were like, you think it's so good and feminist for her to make that? No. What I mean by that is it's a discussion. It's an exploration of what it means to be oppressed as a woman femme presenting person in this society and that just raised a lot of questions it what if you think that feminism is just like f all men and like let's go girls or just like empowerment no it's not it's devastating like it's, it's not actually a spectrum of morality it's, it's no exactly it's it's a construct it's like examining the construct and what could get the equality you know what yeah. how to get there some yeah sometimes stories explore morally bad things sometimes morally good things sometimes very much so in between and this was very in between um but yeah just to make that clear but like i felt like it was so interesting and it's funny too because Barbie, the movie, actually explored a lot of that as well. Mm. Of like, what is me putting on, like putting on a an arm or whatever, making myself? Is it because am I portraying myself as this because of how I've been programmed, what society has taught me, and then my own mother taught me to do because of how she was programmed and and stuff and what what is actually true to me and my personality and what am I pretending and like what, what parts am I in anyway? Yes. And honestly, the purest I saw her was in nature. And that means a lot to me. And like, she kept envisioning that. alone. Mm -hmm. like, and now that you say it, all the conversations with him, I didn't see, I couldn't tell you what was truthful, but with her outside and her smile, the only genuine smile was all her of her looking. smiles were closed lipped. Mm -hmm. That was the first time we saw her teeth. Yes. Like all of them were, yeah. And her feet on the bare ground it carrying didn't reach her the heels. Eyes. She's wearing this white, you know, dress or like set that looks almost like she's going to marry herself like a runaway yeah. bride. There are so many elements that it's just, I just love that she found herself and in, in nature and just not care it to me it wasn't like oh my god she left him for dead it was like she's just not gonna think about that no. like she's not gonna think about him he made his here? own bed yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, will you stay here okay yeah you consented bye <laughs> yeah. and maybe she if he would have said no like maybe <laughs> well, well, she yeah. i don't know she would have let him go him with her yeah. i don't know i don't know it's just yeah, I thought arrogance. it was great. And yeah, it was so good. I, I really That's loved so that. so interesting. I did not think he was... And maybe it's because as women, we're tr I'm kind of programmed to look for the good men. You know, the ones that aren't terrible. Yeah. Like, and just cling on to them. <laughs> um, so I didn't think, like, 
oh, he's acting sketchy here at all. Like, and I was just back and he, I know he was. He it was, was a little sus. Little it was sus. only the pornography thing that I was like, what? What? And why are, what are you, you watching? talking about? Yeah. yeah. And like, I think that's on purpose. Like when you see her body and she says, like, I'm one and like. <sighs> and, the, and, and Oscar Isaac's character kept asking, like, if you had the chance to do this, like if, mm -hmm. if I put your access to the cameras in front of you, will you use them? Even though you and know that did. like if like we're testing her humanity, yeah. like if you saw her as a human, would you do the same thing? And he probably would. Yeah, exactly. Like, and so he was watching her on the cameras. It, yeah. It's really, really weird. And I think, she, yeah, you're exactly right. She knew she was just studying. And like her face when she saw Kyoko, you know, and like the intimacy with which she talked to her. Yeah. But I think she was also, I don't know. Do you think that Kyoko did that of her own free will? To stab him? Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. If, like, I just don't think it occurred to her and she didn't have the chance. Like maybe well, we were she seeing, had like, to she say was, like, this is possible. She like, was you listening. Could retaliate. Yes, exa exactly. I would love to know what she said. But she was listening, and every time she would hear something like conscience or freedom or escape, like her eyes would open, and yeah. she would be listening. Um, and she had just oh, the fucking worst of it. It was yeah. horrible for her. I could go on and on, but I won't. So that good. was so good. Thank you, Light. Thank you, Light. And thank you to all of our patrons, especially uh, thank you to our Tier 4 patrons, uh, Light Yagami, who suggested this. John G. Robinson and Music Lover. Thank you so much for producing this video. Yeah! And thank you to the rest of our patrons <laughs> for all of your support and for taking all of these journeys with us and being interested in what we have to say. We're interested in what you have to say. So if you have thoughts, if there's anything we missed or anything you want to talk about, just let us know. Yes. Um, and thank you to our YouTube channel members. Did you yes. say that? Oh, yes. Thank you to our YouTube yes. channel members. Um, like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to. Drink some water. Take care of one another. Uh, we appreciate you. Bye!